say it. It's super fun. Okay. Fuck me, Gandalf, I'm a hobbit. Within a minute and a half of meeting this group of girls, he has one chick saying, fuck me, Gandalf, I'm a hobbit, right? That is pretty fucking insane compliance. What's up guys, this video we're going to reveal the top 5 best pickup artists in the world. These are all people who I feel have game that is way better than me. We're going to go through some of their infield so you guys can see their skill for yourself. Alright, are you guys ready to see the best pickup artists in the world? Now I will admit before starting this video is that there's one small confounding factor and that is that I haven't met every single pickup artist. I don't know about every one of them. There might be some guy who has a small following who has an insane game that I've just never heard of. But I have been in this community for a decade, you know, I've done collabs with countless amounts of people and I do know pretty much everyone that's worth knowing. However, I will admit there might be a few people who I've never heard of. Also pretty much everyone on this list is someone who I've met up with in real life and most of these guys are guys who I've actually done cold approach with and can personally vouch for the game with my own eyes. Like I mentioned in the intro, every single person on this list is someone who I feel is noticeably better than me and someone that I can personally learn from and I feel like if I can learn from these guys then so can you. And this video was done there's purely on what I think is my honest evaluation of these guys. I didn't receive any kind of endorsement money or anything like that and there's some friends I have who I would love to have put on this list but I didn't because well unfortunately they're not the top five best. They may be good but they're not the absolute best. Also this list is going to be in no specific order and that's simply because uh, these guys have different strengths and weaknesses right so it's like how do you put the best day gamer against the best night gamer right or the best guy who does you know uh, social circle versus this right so I'm going to go through their strengths and weaknesses or mainly their strengths where I feel like they really really excel at and you guys can decide for yourself where they belong on this list but one thing that is certain these guys are really really fucking good so let's start with the first one Austin Summers. Now looking at Austin, you may be like, this guy looks like he's 12 years old, right? And he does have a baby face. However, his game is insane. And what he's really, really good at is going in and just being very smooth and natural while at the same time escalating and making shit happen. So let's play a video. It's called Seven Minute Pool. And this is after he broke his leg, right? So he was in a wheelchair. Now most guys, if they're injured, they're probably not even going to go out. But Austin has a really, really good mindset. He doesn't make excuses. And he winds up pulling a girl while being in a wheelchair in under seven minutes. This is fucking insane. So let's play this. Guys, do you, do you happen to have a stabilizer for our camera? We're filming infield, we need like a little bit of stabilizer. Like so fucking ballsy, he just goes in and he's like, oh, we're filming infield, right? This is like a little inside joke he's having with himself. So that's kind of part of being self-amused. Oh my god, you do? I thought you were going to tell me your phone was going to die. I was like, oh no. It's going to die. Hi, Austin. <laughs> Hi, I'm not really left-handed usually. You Jesus, you have, have you have you have some massive overnight. hands. Do you play so, basketball? Oh shit. Yeah, oh, she did no, in high school. You did? Time. Massive hands. Can you hit can you hold that's a compliment. it? Do you is. guys need a picture? Is it? Yeah, is I that need that a picture. Yeah, with yeah. Her. Now look at this. Within meeting this girl, it's been 20 seconds and he's already touching her, right? That escalation is already starting to happen. He's gonna make out with her in another minute. Yeah, yeah. Take a picture. Wait, 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 wait. This is my phone. Are you going to the body like that? Oh, you want a picture? Take a picture. Someone. This is real smooth. Look at him. Flash on. Flash on. Okay, one second. One second. She's gonna get it together here. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're gonna fast forward a little bit, right? It's up to you right now. We just left because yeah. there was some serious harassment going on. In oh, the like violence? No, 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 no. Well, it was sort of. of. Or just guys wow. like groping people. Exactly. Well, there was a guy who groped me. I didn't tell you. What I really like about Austin's game is that he's very, very grounded. That's probably from all the meditation that he does. But at the same time, he's also funny and he moves things forward, right? He's not one of those boring, grounded guys who just stands there after a half hour conversation, the whole thing dies off. He combines being really, really grounded with also moving things forward. <laughs> Give him a shout up three times. Can I can I touch you? Uh, I no, guess. You already, tagged, you already touched. I like the most. Yeah, no, Me that's too. Fine. You know why? She's, she's real tall. She likes herself I the best too. Hands. She's we like she's like already. I like it the best too. Whoa. You just love yourself. Mm, sure. <laughs> Are you Norwegian? I hope so. Mm, no. Her last name's like Larsson. But I know her, so I am. Your dad's probably a fucking Viking. Six he five. Is. He three. He had. I can see that. <laughs> Right. Can sit on me. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, now. Roll Nash. Roll Nash. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. We're not going in. We're going this way. Awesome. Free ride. I'm in. Seat of love. Here, guess good. before you're. 
<laughs> so within two minutes of meeting the girl, he's already making out with her and pulling her back to this place. And he actually did wind up hooking up with this girl. So it was literally a seven minute pull. Now that takes some fucking skill to be so smooth and so grounded that you don't creep the girl out by escalating so fast, but at the same time to be able to pull her. And this is not the only pull he has. He has countless infield on YouTube that's available for free where you see him pull tricks. So that is why I think he definitely deserves a place on this list. And Austin is someone who I've personally gone out with and I've seen his shit in real life. And he's really, really fucking solid. Like someone who I can say is definitely noticeably better than me and someone I can learn from. Next person on the list, we have John Anthony. Now look, I understand John Anthony is a controversial figure. You might think that he's an asshole or whatever. And you know, everyone's titled to their own opinion. However, you cannot deny the fact that his game is really, really fucking sick. Now he does not have that much infield on YouTube right now. He privated a lot of it, but this is something that he let me have from his product. And you're gonna see a video of him pulling in under 10 minutes, right? So this is also, this is gonna be at a bar, which is a little bit different different than when Austin was doing outside, but still a lot of the same shit. Hey, how are you? Hey, okay. You're pretty fucked up? No, it's a hey, fucked up. What's him? So this is what he was saying, he was doing an experiment where they're opening with like crazy openers, like, hey, fuckhead, right? Which is something that guys do, I guess, to prove that the actual words that you say don't matter, which is true. You can pretty much open with anything as long as your body language and vibe is on point. Now, within 10 seconds of meeting her, he's isolating. That's the one thing about John's game. Uh, it might not be as funny as like some of the other guys, but he definitely moves things forward as fast as humanly possible, right? Isolating within 20 seconds is pretty fucking good. Uh, we're having an ass party. My friend's birthday tonight, downtown. What are you doing after this? Um, I'm going back to my place. Where's your place? So you just banter with the girl and a fast forward a little bit. Drink and we can text that so he goes for the logistics really fast. Within one minute, he's already trying to pull. I just went to Vegas and like, I'm like so sick of the center of the club, so like kind of like whatever. I know. Do you like fireball? And then we'll text your friend to meet him. My name is my friend. My friend knows how to get there. It's just up one spot of stairs. Now, we were one minute and a half in, and he's already pulling the girl upstairs. Now, a key part of John's game is that it's very compliance centered, right? He's always testing for compliance and trying to make things happen in the most efficient, fastest way possible, which is pretty different than my game where I'm just fucking around a lot, blah, 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 right? But he's literally just being the most streamlined, you know, version of pulling the girl. So, again, so right now, what he's doing, yes, they're at the bar, now he's pulling her upstairs, and then he's gonna get her to his place. <laughs> About it, but I, don't I studied. Know. I did. More I'm texting the friends. Come out. It's a black light. So you know outside. This is one of my good friends. Make your way out. Oh my god! We had sex once. This guy takes. Wait, I want to meet this. I want to meet. These are my Irish really friends. Oh, nice. We We're partners in crime. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She brings like a hundred foreigners to the clubs. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. She's looking great, Goya. She's not mine. Oh, yeah, she's just my. Listen. But I have like, I have like seven friends in here. We'll just. And we'll just text them to come to this address. It'll be super fun. It's my friend's birthday. We're going to Parkin Island. Six minutes in and the girl is getting in the cab and he's pulling her. Now, unfortunately, the audio kind of sucks for this. You can't really hear it that much. But six minutes in, pulling a chick from a bar is quite fucking impressive. And he has also in his product a lot of shit like that where he pulls the girls pretty quickly, right? So, yeah, this is like pretty fucking good to pull a girl so fast. Uh, again, controversial guy. You may like him. You may not like him. Everyone knows that I'm friends with him. But that's not the reason he's on this list. The reason he's on this list is because he has really, really fucking sick cold approach skills. John is another guy who I've personally gone out with, right? And I've seen him do crazy shit. The first night we went out together, he wound up pulling a stripper 
back to my place. Uh, to be fair, he didn't bang her. He got blowjob from her. But yeah, he wound up pulling a stripper from a strip club the first night. You know, second night, he pulled several chicks. All right. So you can see that this guy knows what he's doing, at least when it comes to pulling. All right. Let's move on to the next character. And this is old school RSD Julian. Not to be confused with the current hippie Julian, right? This is Julian back in 2012, 2013 when he was fucking insanely good, right? So this is gonna be really fucking good. Now, one thing I like about Julian is this game is really funny. Like Julian is, I would say, way more entertaining than John, for example, right? Even way more entertaining than Austin. Just watching his game, it's like fucking hilarious. It's like being in a comedy show. Now, you don't necessarily have to be funny to pull tricks from Cold Approach. I wouldn't say that's a requirement, but if you have it, why not use it? From Hamburg, I lied. Uh, I grew up in Schweiz, also Französisch Sprache. Yeah. Bisschen Deutsch und ich lebe in Amerika. Wollt ihr euch gerade was zu trinken holen zu Billy? Was? Was? What was that? Oh, no, my, my sister doesn't allow me. She's, she's actually my girlfriend, pregnant, so we can't drink. She's my girl, well, little, our little son Gaspar. Gaspar? So she can't drink, so I support her. Oh. Don't, why are you cock blocking me? Why are you cock blocking me? You're the worst. <coughs> Fuck you. You're my girlfriend. Is pregnant. <laughs> my Freundin. My Freundin. Yeah. My friend. Wie heißt du? Noemi. Noemi. And your yeah, friend? Hi. Karlin. 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 Hi. My Freundin. I notice the level of charisma and confidence. He's just supremely confident interacting with this group, and he's also very charismatic. He's very good at being the center of attention. Yeah, is two months pregnant. Little baby, yeah, my baby. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. What are you saying? What are you saying? Oh, it's it's special. It's special vitamins. It's vitamin water. Uh, how old are you? Too young, little baby. Achtzehn. Now, one big thing Julian does is he trolls masturbate. At least he used to. I don't really think he's married now, settled down, blah blah blah, lame lame lame. But he used to do a lot, a lot of trolling. But it was also at the same time he was pretty grounded and he was also good about moving things forward. Not as good as some of the other guys on this list, right? His game was a little bit more self amusement oriented, but he was just so fucking good at that and being charismatic. <laughs> I, it's my birthday yesterday. Esteban, my name is first time in a nightclub. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I love it. How old are you? Why are you so small? Why are you so small? What happened? What happened? Is your are your parents small? Maybe you have a different dad. Maybe your mom cheated with a mailman. Are you from München? Come closer, 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 closer. I just wanna, I've never hugged a small little midget. Do you know the movie The Hobbit? That could yeah. be us. I'm gonna call you Frodo. Oh, can, no. you, can you do me one favor? Can you look at me and be like, Gandalf, I love you. Say it. Gandalf, ich liebe dich. Gandalf? Gandalf, ich liebe dich. Say it, say fuck me, Gandalf, I'm a hobbit. Say it, say it. Say it, it's super fun. Okay. Fuck me, I'm a hobbit. Within a minute and a half of meeting this group of girls, he has one chick saying, fuck me, fuck me, Gandalf, I'm a hobbit, right? That is pretty fucking insane compliance. I think very, very few guys were able to pull that off. And yeah, old school Julian before the CNN debacle was really, really fucking solid. Unfortunately, you know, the whole CNN thing caused him to melt down. Now he's gotten a weird woo-woo direction. So maybe one day he'll come back to, you know, being the old school Julian that we all love and miss. Uh, but yeah, you can see some of his old footage, which obviously actually took a lot of it down, which is very sad. But yeah, this is good shit. His old school footage, it was really, really solid. And I think, again, he didn't have the most efficient game ever, right, just when it comes to getting laid, but certainly the most entertaining game. And certainly his mastery of social situations was unparalleled. All right, let's move on to the next person. Now, this is a person that I, be honest, I didn't want to put on this list for personal reasons. Uh, you know, it's no secret that me and Ultimate Man Project have some bad personal history and I think they're quite unethical in a lot of the things they do. However, however, I have to be honest, and Marcus deserves a place on this list. Marcus Wolf has some of the best cold approach game I have ever seen. I've personally gone out with a guy, I've seen him in action, and it is insane. Like, he went into this group of girls, I remember we were in Poland, and there was guys there, guys were like Jack, he somehow pretended convinced the guy he was gay within 30 seconds, and then a minute later isolated the chick, right? So insane fucking social skills. And what he's really, really good at 
is combining just basically dominating social interactions. So there's a bunch of guys, you know, the guys are trying to steal the girl. He's really good at just finagling his way. Now what Marcus does, which I think is not gonna work for a lot of guys, uh, is a more advanced strategy where he combines uh, really like a lot of external game tactics, right? So he's a lot less natural uh, than, you know, like Julian or John or something like that, but he's also very smooth at the same time, which is really, really hard to do, but he does a lot of advanced game tactics. And they also do some dark triad stuff, which I personally don't endorse, but hey, you can't argue the fact that it works. So this is uh, him, and again, another problem, Marcus does not have a lot of infield, unfortunately, right? I don't know why, they should have more, right? But from what I've seen in real life, and this video it shows us how solid he is. Why do I like to Sorry, sorry, one second, sorry, one second. Um. <laughs> now this trick is being pretty standoffish and bitchy, right? So he, the video is the secret behind attention seeking girls in the club. Watch how he turns it around. So you notice straight away the minute you came over, attention, right? Attention right at you, right? Now, sorry, one second, one second. Excuse me? You get that attention it's right away. Right. Now, as soon as you gave her attention back, she just tries to back. No, no, um, what are you drinking? Hey, what are you drinking? Beer. Say attention. Um, beer. Beer. What the fuck is that? Beer. I don't know what that is. So you take attention away a little bit. See, laughing, laughing, attention. No, no, because is this, uh, hey, focus. Is this some hot, fucking hot, hot milk. Hungarian hot, hot beer? Hot milk. Does it taste like shit? Milk. Milk. So you take attention milk away a little from bit. A cow. And attention, attention. Milk from a cow. Okay, uh, does it taste good? Yeah. Now you can test the compliance a little bit. Here, let me taste, let me taste. That's investment now, right? Okay, free so to invest. Yeah, free drink. See, now she's even price premium. You know, I'm taking a drink of it. You're so funny. I'm doing a little bit of touch contact. You're actually very. Really fucking explain to the student what he's doing while he's doing it, which requires an extra level of smoothness. Very cute. You're very good. What's your name? Okay, so I'm a worker. See that? From, from, from the same. And then it's back to my boy. No, what's your name? I'm a worker from. My name's. Mark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is. Listen, okay, stop. Nice to meet you. Stop, stop. You're way too pretty and intelligent to be acting like this, okay? Too much sass. You're, you're better than a Hungarian girl, yes? You're not like these people. All right, just to be clear, I don't hate Hungarian women. It's just that she's the type of girl that views herself is better than the other girls at the club. And so you can encourage certain behaviors through that frame. Like, listen, don't act like all these people. <laughs> so this is pretty funny. So yeah, the interaction kind of goes like this. Uh, you can find the whole, th the whole thing on their channel. But yeah, again, like, not someone that I would personally recommend because again, I'm not a big fan of these guys for personal reasons and other reasons, right? However, you cannot deny the fact that Marcus Wolf has literally some of the most insane game in the world. And I've personally gone out with this guy. I've seen it firsthand, 100% can vouch for that. And what he does again, as I mentioned earlier, is something really rare where he combines a lot of tactics, right? But it doesn't come off gamey because he has like the smooth, natural type of vibe to balance it out, which is something very, very few guys can do. And let's move on to our last person and that's gonna be Vadim from Honest Signals. Uh, Vadim, I've, we've never gone out, but I have met him in person on the podcast. And usually, you know, it's kind of like a player can tell another player. When I talk to a guy for a few minutes, I can quite accurately gauge how solid they're with women. It's based on their vibe, by, you know, how grounded they are, how confident they are. And Vadim has all these things in space. Now, traditionally, you know, you might think, why does he have that? He's bald, you know, he's not the best looking guy. Yeah, he's kind of tall, but that's about it, right? But he's someone who's developed really, really good inner game and confidence in combination with good techniques. So this is a video, uh, it's kind of one of their troll videos, but I think it also shows off the skill. It's called Arab and Jew pickup girl for threesome, right? And you're gonna see them from daytime pull several girls for threesome, which I think also takes a lot of skill. I feel that if we can share a woman's body, him being an Arab and me being a Jew, then why couldn't our two nations share a sliver of land that is Israel or right. Palestine? Thank you. Right, so you could be that lucky it's lady. <laughs> Right? Wow, quite the proposal. You're right. Are you up for the challenge? I could help save the whole situation kidding. in yeah. okay. You're yeah. right, in the Middle East. By hanging out with you too. No, 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 no. Hey, yeah. <laughs> We'd have to film the video. Yeah. Right. Oh, and then make it go viral. Make it go viral. <laughs> do I have to do something? Well, yeah. I mean you're oh. the woman that we're we'll sharing. Oh. 
yeah. my Honestly. body, really. Well, yeah. But, yeah. Well, I don't know. Not your soul, obviously. This is so far outside the realm of what most guys can do. For a lot of guys, just getting a girl's phone number is like very intimidating and like almost unthinkable. But what he's doing, he's literally with a friend pulling a chick for threesome, which is harder than pulling a chick for just a regular hookup, right? From the daytime, right? From the daytime with no alcohol involved. That takes a whole level of skill and smoothness. And basically what you have to do in a situation like that is really convey through your actions and your confidence that what you're doing is totally normal, which it really is not. It's like very socially, you know, uh, rare, right? To do something like that, right? But so you have to be extra grounded, extra confident in what you're doing for the girl not to freak out. Okay, you know what? I'll have to decline. Yeah, so good luck finding that lady. Seriously. Be, be reasonable about this. Be reasonable. Well, we can Come go for on. Turkish coffee beforehand, obviously, just to kind of, you know. I like Turkish coffee. So do I. You know it's brewed for like half an hour before you actually serve it? Is it? Uh, that's what makes it special. Like there's so much taboo about it, but the reality is it happens. What so does? The threesomes? About, yeah, people don't talk about it so openly. Well, yeah, I understand, um, so. There's fear of judgment and all that, and I can understand society's it, Society's falling, really. But aren't we rational people that can yeah, look past that? Rational. You've never had a no, pomelo? I would love to have a pomelo. That is ridiculous. Over here. How is that possible? Because I only... Girl, you have not lived. It's true. Pomelos are fantastic. So what were you doing in the park anyway? I was reading. Yeah? It's like... Anything entertaining? Yeah, actually, really good book. I mean, pulling two chicks for a threesome during the day definitely takes a lot, a lot of fucking skill. I can say, well, I'm not into threesomes with two dudes, but aside from that, like, I don't know if I have the skill to pull it off. Like, yeah, maybe at a club, at a bar, you know, where it's more socially accepted, I could probably do it, right? But during the daytime, no, that's definitely outside of my skill. So you can see all these guys have different strengths and weaknesses. Some of them are funny, some of them are more grounded, some of them are much more efficient in their game, right? Because they're different people. So of course their game is not gonna be the same, but the one thing they have in common is they all have fucking insane pickup game. And these are all people that I think you could learn something when it comes to cold approach. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more of these type of ranked videos, we can next one can be top five worst pickup artists in the world. Although that's going to be really, really tough because there's a lot of guys who suck. Anyway, show us some love by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, click the bell for notification. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.